Yo, what is up guys? So like I promised in my last video, I will actually be doing more skin videos and stuff like that. So I thought I'd kick it off with a trade up contract. I used to do them a lot. They were actually the most popular series on my channel. As you can see here, I have a ton, a ton of them and I thought I'd just do them again. They did good. You guys enjoyed them and you know what? I enjoy making them as well. I have two in this video and I'm actually going to be doing them. They're fairly cheap, pretty cheap actually, low risk and quite profitable. I plan on doing more so hopefully you guys do enjoy these skin videos. Before I start, I always like to mention in all my trade-up videos that prices can change and by the time you do see this video, you know, maybe a week or two weeks later, it might not even work. So just double check and also always use something like CSGO Zone or CSGO.exchange to test out your trade ups. That wasn't sponsored or anything, it's just literally what I use. I even use them in the video here, which you will see. All right, so for our first trade up, this is actually a pretty cheap one. This one costs to be very, very little. We have seven factor new scar outbreaks and three minimal wear scar outbreaks keep in mind that you can use a lot less factory news in this i do believe but i just couldn't find that many low float minimal wear so i just try to be safe i double checked on CSGO zone like I'm on right now to make sure that I'm getting factory new on every single skin like I am. Do double check on all your trade ups on a site like CSGO.exchange or CSGO zone. Saying right here, it cost me about $3.69, which is actually false because like I did, you guys should also make buy orders on Steam. So you can make a custom price that you wanna pay for a skin so you don't actually pay that high price. I got most of my factory news at about 29 cents instead of 42 cents. This is the current price on the market, but you know, somebody who's just trying to sell it very, very fast might, you know, put it at that requested amount. So yeah, I got most of these at 29 cents actually. So very, very cheap. And then the minimal wares, I got each of these at 22 cents, not 25. So yeah, I got this trade up for about $2.60. Keep in mind, prices do change and you know, you might not get the exact same prices as me, but that's what I got this trade up for. So if we do get the Negev power loader in factory new, that skins about $7.40. So after the whole steam taxes and everything, we'll have about $6.15. So yeah, that's a great amount of profit. Then if we do get the Tiger Moth in Factor New, after steam tax and everything, we make about $1.50 profit. Maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less, depending on how much you actually got them for. And then unfortunately for everything else, you lose a little bit of money just after the taxes and stuff like that. Like I said, we got for 260 and most of these skins are $3. The skins that are over $3 slightly are the Fuel Rod and the Retribution. Then the other two skins, you lose money. You lose about 20 to 30 cents. All right, it might not be the best trade up in the world, but I think it is pretty good. Oh, rip off. I forgot uh, how fast animation was i haven't done a trade up in a little bit but unfortunately that is a loss all right and the next one is just a minimal wear version of this and i kind of just did this because i bought too many minimal wares i bought about five minimal wares and uh, i had two extra so i was like yeah i'll just do the rest with uh minimal wares just see what we can get you know what i mean this is just kind of for fun i wouldn't recommend you actually do this one unless you're calculating what you're doing you know this one's just for me to have some fun all right, that was a tiger moth. Should be in the minimal wear condition. All right, let's go to newest, check it out. Yeah, it's minimal wear. How much does that sell on the market for? Unfortunately, that's only a dollar twenty. Damn, that's a lot less than I thought. So yeah, we basically lost about half because we paid about 22 cents for each of those minimal wares. So we lost about half of our money. Uh, that's a pretty big yikes. This trade up is actually old and it's actually pretty good. This is a spectrum case trade up and I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys know about it, but it's quite profitable still. It's a 66% chance of profiting and a 33% chance of losing. It says I got this trade up for $8.25. It's actually closer to this price than uh, the other trade up was on their, you know, prediction, but not quite. All of these I got for about 65 to 63 cents. So yeah, for this trade up, you can use a different combination in floats, but you know, by actually paying attention, trying to get lower float skins, I just wanted to, you know, upload this video and do the trade ups myself. So I bought more factory news, but once again, double check all your floats on these sites before being kind of careless and just, you know, buying skins off the market and throwing them in a trade up and wishing for the best. But yeah, for this trade up, we need five MAC-10 last dives in factory new and five MAC-10 last dives in minimal wear. And we have a 33% chance of getting the M4A1S decimator. I'm not even gonna say this 
this name because I did it in one of my other trade up videos and I got roasted on it. So yeah, the CZ and a 33% chance at the fever dream. So yeah, I got all these for about 88 cents and all of these for about 65. So it's, it's pretty cheap. So yeah, this trade up in total cost me about $7.65. And if we get the decimator in fact, a new condition, we get $11. So after the taxes and everything, we profit about two and a half dollars to $3. And if we get the CZ, we lose. And if we get the Op Fever Dream, which is about $10.55, we profit about $1.50. It's pretty good. So yeah, if you are gonna actually do one of the trade-ups in this video, I highly recommend you do this trade-up. I think it's very, very good. You have a two out of three chance to actually profit. Profit is pretty decent. And yeah, wish me luck, man. No! Oh my god, I'm so unlucky. Rip. And here's the very last one, which is all with minimal wear, so probably shouldn't be all that good, but uh, you know, like I said, just for fun. Oh yay, we got a fever dream actually. And the fever dream, I believe, is actually profit. Let me see. Alright, so actually getting this minimal wear fever dream is about a break even. All of those minimal wares totaled to about $6.50, and this is about $7.20. So if we were to sell this after all the taxes, pretty much everything, it's like small profit to breaking even. So three L's, one one break even to small profit. Our luck wasn't the best this video, but I think we had one all right trade up and one really good trade up but we just got unlucky. I don't know why I really bought all the minimal wear skins for, I don't know why I did that, but I could have just did two other trade up. I'm a little bit rusty on my trade up, you know, knowledge and practices and stuff like that. You know, it's been, it's been a bit since I did a trade up video, but hopefully I'm gonna get back into those and I'm gonna have some new trade ups for you very, very soon. And hopefully, you know, I actually have some decent luck in those. Thank you so much for taking a few minutes out of your day to watch my video. It means a lot. If you guys did enjoy this video, please drop me a like. If you guys didn't enjoy it, please drop me a dislike and maybe a reason why you didn't enjoy it so I can actually improve. Either way, I really hope you guys do profit if you guys are going to do these trade ups. And I really hope you guys have a nice day. Peace, peace.